around noon here at 630. Sticking to your New Year's resolution can be tough, especially when it's a big goal. Now, that could be to quit smoking or to lose a significant amount of weight. Yeah, but if you're looking to quit drinking alcohol or at least cut back a little bit, many people are now finding ways to stop drinking but still have a good time. Today we're going to be doing the spice honey sprint. You don't have to call it a mocktail. We kind of coined it as uh, zero proof cocktails. But at many restaurants and bars across the country, several mixed drinks are now spirit free. No alcohol. No, it does not have any alcohol. Catering to a growing clientele. I think there's a better life out there. Like Jessica Zubert taking a break from the drinking culture. Those are some people in my sober group. She recently started a sober and social meetup group. We had a sober Thanksgiving. A ton of people showed up. This is my book club, axe throwing. Her group is just part of a movement exploring a new kind of sobriety. It's something that used to be a taboo where people, if you weren't a drinker, if you had to quit, you had a problem. That idea is gaining ground with social drinkers who don't consider themselves alcoholics, but may do dry January, swearing off alcohol for a month. One study shows people who did that were still drinking less six months later. There's this idea that sober sucks, right? And party's the fun word. It's the reason Duke Rumley started his nonprofit for the so-called Sober Curious. And that's why we came up with the name Sober AF Entertainment. Safe. If it was just called Sober Entertainment, nobody would show up. With discounted tickets to big music and sporting events, he says plenty of people want to have fun without alcohol. People are looking for alternatives besides being around whiskey drunk guy. There seems to be a big need for this. Emily Schrader is the executive director of an alcohol-free catering nonprofit that threw a sober New Year's Eve bash and has several events planned for this month. They might find that they feel so much better without alcohol and might decide to continue that in the future. It's been pretty cool. For people like Jessica, the chance to be sober and social is something to raise her zero proof cocktail glass to. It's not easy. It's very challenging, but the benefits definitely outweigh the difficulties. And many restaurants and bars in Tulsa offer a mocktail menu or a non-alcoholic menu. And it's it's easy whenever you're, you know, like that kind of in a group of people who are also not drinking, but mm -hmm. it's more difficult when you're with all of your friends course. or with your family and they're all, you know, having a cocktail and, you know, you're choosing not to. But I, I really, I think it's all in the branding, calling, you know, a soft cocktail or a zero proof cocktail mm -hmm. still makes you feel like you're part of the group. Right. But you're not drinking. Yeah, alcohol. I like it. I'm on board with it. You know, social drinking is a thing. So I think as long as you're just sipping on something. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. You know, that's what it's about. Having fun with your friends.